So we've seen what happens with our friendly Theragun when we use a handheld dynamometer with force output measurements, both with treating quads and with hams, how force output decreases anywhere between 25 to 40 percent. So what happens with performance? So what we're going to have uh, Taylor do here is she's going to do two single leg broad jumps. We're going to take the best score, then we're going to do the uh, Theragun for a minute to her quads only, and then we're going to redo that test and see what happens to her performance level in the single legged standing broad jump. So first, go ahead and give me your best jump. Good. And again. Okay, first one was better. All right, so there's first jump right there. All right, so go ahead and lay down. So we're just gonna Theragun to the quads for one minute. And I'm not pushing hard, I'm just letting the gun do its job. So keep in mind that we are only using the Theragun on one muscle group. We're not doing quads and hams and glutes and plantar fletchers, just quads. So watch what happens to her measurement here in a second. So you should be able to infer what's gonna happen since we already know that this is going to decrease her uh, overall force output by somewhere between 25 to 40%. So the question is, why are people using Theraguns and foam rollers and stretching when those things all have the exact same effect neurologically on the muscle? Okay, so one minute. Go ahead, Taylor, again. Okay, first one. Now what happens if we do a second one? Also notice your stability on takeoff and landing. Okay, a little bit worse. Let's go one more time. Okay, right where she was, pretty much on that second one. All right, so there's our difference, which is six and a half inch difference with one minute of Theragun to the quads only. So what did we do? We caused neuromuscular inhibition, which is also what you cause with stretching and foam rolling and massage. So you're making the muscle relax, which is what it does. So neuromuscular inhibition, relaxes the muscle, lengthens it so you get more range of motion, but you also get decreased force output and decreased performance, which also increases risk of injury. So if you notice her stability on takeoff and landing post Theragun, not as good as pre Theragun. So now we've decreased her performance, increased her uh, risk of injury. Why would you want to do that to your patients at any point? So what we should be doing is figure out what's inhibited when they come in because inhibition is causing the problems that's causing them to come in in the first place and reversing the inhibition, not causing more inhibition. All right, so remember, when you have patients come in with orthopedic injuries and complaints, they are neuro patients and it's up to you, the professional, the expert, the doctor to figure out where the inhibition is, reverse the inhibition, and then teach them how to maintain that normal facilitation on their own so they get better faster and stay better.